Hi, I'm a smart Alex seventh grader from Pittsburgh. Thank you for choosing this video and thank you for being curious about the Bible. This next episode has three more scriptures and three more smart Alec comments. Take it away, Bob. The Holy Bible, the King James Version, the Old Testament, the book of Hosea, chapter six, verse six. For I desired mercy and not sacrifice, and the knowledge of God more than burnt offerings. He made us in his own image, eternal, creative, able to choose. But we were tempted and chose to sin against him. God loved us anyway. Our sins have stained us, preventing us from returning to heaven. A perfect holy sacrifice was needed to wash us clean. God's love provided. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. John 3.16 The book of Joel, chapter 2, verse 21. Fear not, O land, be glad and rejoice, for the Lord will do great things. No matter what age it is, from ancient biblical times to right this minute to a thousand years in the future, it is not an easy time for those living contrary to God's will. You will never find contentment, but you can change that. Read the Bible, develop faith, and may God's love shine upon you. The book of Amos, chapter 5, verse 12. For I know your manifold transgressions and your mighty sins. They afflict the just, they take a bribe, and they turn aside the poor in the gate from their right. This scripture reminded me of the world we live in today. The corrupt have been deceiving us for years, but I believe the truth will ultimately emerge. And as the narratives come crashing down and the lies they have been told finally become evident, even those who will never admit it are recognizing that they have been deceived. People that they have trusted have been manipulating them. Please, Lord, may they begin seeking the truth on their own. This I ask in Jesus' name.